What's going on guys? Welcome back for another video. As you know, I'm always looking for cheap and affordable ways to get you guys up in gaming. And while this video is out of the norm for us and may appear almost clickbaity, I promise you it's not. This video will show you how you can play 70 plus Xbox One games using only your smartphone and you don't even need to own or purchase any of these games. And not just that, you don't even need to own a console or a PC. A few months ago, game streaming was all anyone was talking about. While I'm not the biggest fan of game streaming, being a PC enthusiast myself, when done right, it can be an amazing technology. Google released their very own streaming platform called Stadia, in which you could use your phone or a Chromecast device to stream games, eliminating the need for a console or a PC, and with a strong internet connection, these games ran quite well. The problem with Stadia is you had to pay almost full price for each game, and their library of games was quite lackluster. I mean, their big launch title was Destiny 2. Stadia charges $10 a month just to access their platform, then charges you ridiculous prices for old games. Needless to say, Stadia has not been doing well. But on the other end of the spectrum, around this same time, Xbox announced their very own streaming service as well, called Project xCloud. This was game streaming done right. xCloud was released to the public as a beta and not a final product like Stadia. xCloud allows you to test and play 70 plus AAA game titles for completely free. xCloud uses a Netflix style formula where they allow you to pick and choose from a massive selection of content that is constantly being updated. The crazy part is that although this is in a beta period for Project xCloud, it honestly runs better than Google Stadia. While tons of YouTubers have covered Project xCloud to death, I feel like none of them have done a good job or even talked about how this service is 100% completely free. Microsoft is using us as the public as their very own game testers. While using xCloud, you will get a notification after every gameplay session asking how your experience was, rating it from 1 to 5 stars. A credit card or payment information is never asked for. Because xCloud is a streaming service, you don't need to own an Xbox or a PC. All you need is a phone, Apple or Android, that can run the Xbox game streaming app. Microsoft is allowing anyone to sign up for Project xCloud, so sign up is what I did. I created a brand new Xbox account right on the Microsoft website, and I never owned an Xbox One in the past. On Microsoft's website, it states they will only be accepting a limited amount of people and may take a few months to be accepted. Well, my application was accepted in just 12 days. I believe they are actually accepting everyone so they can really stress test their servers. I will put a sign up link in the video description. Let me know in the comment section how long it took you guys to get approved. As of now, xCloud is only meant to be played in a portable format. Microsoft expects you to use a controller with a smartphone clip attached to it. xCloud does not support TV play, but lucky for you, on this channel, we don't follow the rules. xCloud runs at a native 720p resolution on your smartphone. By using a $10 HDMI adapter for your phone, it can output that 720p resolution to an external display. Obviously, 720p is not the best resolution, so the bigger your TV, the worse the image will look. We used a 24-inch computer monitor, and the games looked great. You are also connecting the Xbox One controller to your phone via Bluetooth meaning you can use it wirelessly from multiple feet away. So using xCloud in a TV setup seems like an extremely obvious and appealing option, yet Microsoft wasn't offering it. I know this video is out of the norm for you guys, but I thought this topic was too interesting not to cover. If you're not sure that this would be worth it to you, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. Shh. Assuming you already own a smartphone, but don't own an Xbox One controller, once you get approved for Project X Cloud, go to your local Best Buy or Walmart, pick up an Xbox One controller, and test out X Cloud for yourself. If you like it, and see it being a viable gaming setup for you, then great! 
but if you hate it, keep the box for that Xbox One controller and you can return the controller even after using it, up to a month later. Keep that on the low though guys. Either way, I encourage everyone watching this video to at least sign up for xCloud. You legit have nothing to lose as it costs nothing to you. Later you bots.